Hello, 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 Kenny Evans here. Another car video. And the topic of this video is if you're married and you don't have freedom, there is a problem. So before I get started, uh, I want to let you guys know, you know, the whole purpose of this channel is all about helping you guys with your, your health, your wealth, and of course, dating and relationships and a mindset as well. You know what I mean? So, um, I want you guys to give me other topics that you guys want me to talk about because again, this channel isn't just for me, it's for you guys as well. It actually is more for you guys than it is for me. I'm just the guy creating the content, but I make the content for you guys so you guys could have better lives. So, just want to get that out of the way. Uh, but let us get back into this topic. If you're married and you don't have freedom, there's a serious problem. And of course, I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, mainly subscribe if you've been here for a while or even if you're new. And of course, like if you want to uh, support me or if you've been here for a while, you, you like my content. Like, I appreciate it. Um, and comment too if you want just to show some support. But yes, uh, if you're married and you don't have freedom, there is definitely a serious problem. Uh, this is very important topic because you got a lot of guys out here who are married and are in miserable relationships or, you know, um, they've gone through a divorce, you know, and they didn't have freedom because they're in miserable relationships. And they just thought they had to be in that relationship, you know, and I'll go into some of the reasons why. But this is very common, and I want to help you guys who are maybe in relationships, or if you're not in a relationship, you know, I want to help you guys to be able to look out for things you shouldn't do while you're in a relationship or married. Right now, I'm talking about marriage because I want you guys to have happy relationships, and it's very important. If you're going to be in a relationship or if you're going to be married, obviously, you want to be with somebody who you're happy to be with, you know, and... um you enjoy being around. So, that being said, now we're going to get into this video. So, first and foremost, when you're married and you are not having freedom, it is a huge problem because, first and foremost, you let your woman lead. If you've been around, you've been watching my channel for, for a while, you know, I'm all about the man leading the relationship from the first time you meet the woman till whatever reason y'all break up, a man leads the relationship, you know, and when you are in a marriage and you don't have freedom, that means you let the woman lead. And because you let the woman lead, you're not happy. And she's not happy. I don't care what anybody says. Women leading in relationships cause the relationship to go to the ground and break up. It's just it's just part of their makeup. It's like they don't respect you and they don't appreciate you because they feel like you're below them. You know what I mean? So again. When a woman is leading, there's a problem, and you got to lead as the man when it comes to your relationship with women, and really in all aspects of life if you're a strong man, but especially when it comes to uh, the woman you are, are married with. So, very important there. But of course, second part, <sighs> you didn't take a stand early enough in your relationship. When things Maybe things start off all right and they're going well, but then there's a transition where you started getting lazy and, you know, or you just really were really getting complacent and you didn't really care. And she started getting more aggressive and she started nagging and complaining more. You didn't nip that in the bud. You just kind of went with it. You know what I mean? And, and that's the problem. If you would have said, Hey, you know, Baby, I don't like when you be nagging me. I don't like when you talk to me like that. So you got to stop that or we're going to be, we're not going to be together anymore. 
And if she continued, you leave. But most of the time, you don't. You don't do anything. You let it go. You continue to let it go. You continue to let it build up until you just were underneath her and you were submitting to her so she wouldn't get angry at you. The weakest position you can have as a husband and as a man is being afraid of your woman you're in a relationship with getting mad at you and punishing you. You know? So when you didn't take that stand, you pretty much, uh, you know, soldier yourself <laughs> into slavery. You know what I mean? So, and your your whole relationship from there is pretty much downhill. You know. But, of course, you have the, the third thing that you did wrong here. You know, you did not... Um, well, you put really her values, your wife's values over your own. You put your wife's value over your own. Because if you're not, your wife is nagging you about, let's say you like to uh, play video games. And she nags at you about that. And because she nags at you, you stop playing your video games. Or you try to hide it or you try not to play as much. Or if you like going out to the club, you know what I mean, with your boys, just to have fun. She nags you about that and you stop doing it, you put her values over your own. And as you put her values over your own, again, she will lose respect for you. She's again being the leader because you're following her lead. When there's something you really value and enjoy... You do not give that up, regardless of circumstances. She could be mad. She could do whatever. You're not going to give up what you really value and what you really enjoy. And if she doesn't like it, she can leave. Because as a man, a strong man, you stand on your principles and you go for what you want. Especially if you really value it. You got to go for it. You know? You definitely got to go for it. <sighs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, the fourth thing you did wrong when you are really in a marriage and you don't have freedom, you, um, oh man, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, it's not only that you put her values over your own, she didn't take a stand, you know. <laughs> you look for stability over happiness you look for stability over happiness when things got tough in your relationship and you weren't happy you was like eh at least I'm married I'll just go with the flow do what I gotta do stay married you know and that's how you gave away your power. And that's how you became submissive to her, your wife. You know, because you were looking for stability and staying married as opposed to being happy. And I get it. It's not always easy to go to go through a divorce. But you should have checked that when things, when you were not happy, you should have checked that and nipped it in the bud as soon as you saw the signs. But when you don't do that, things only go downhill. And that's why you lose your freedom. You know? Oh, man. But yes, the fifth and final reason why you're in your marriage, but you don't have freedom. And why it's a serious problem is because either you did not vet her properly or you got lazy. Either she could have been the most attractive girl you've ever been with. And though she had all these red flags, she was controlling, you decided to put up with it. Even though she made you miserable. But she thought, damn, she's fine. She's She wants to be with you. You know what I mean? You put up with it. You know what I mean? And you just didn't vet her very well. You, you just let go of the red flags. Or you were doing everything right. And because you got lazy 
He's like, ah, we've been married for all these years. It's all right. I'll just put up with all this. It is what it is. Happy wife, happy life. You put up with all that, and your relationship just went down the toilet. You know, you didn't start. You stopped dating her. You stopped taking care of yourself. Stopped doing stuff that made you happy. All the stuff that she loved about you, you stopped doing. And because you stopped doing it, she started losing respect for you. And she felt like now she had to be the man. She had to be the leader. And you let her, you know, so that is all I got for y'all here today. When it comes to you being married and not having freedom and why it's a serious problem. So like, comment, subscribe. If you like the video, cool. If you didn't like the video, cool. Leave me a comment in the uh, comment section. Let me know why you didn't so I could do better next time. But, um, of course, uh, after you subscribe, hit that notification button so I could, uh, well, you guys will be notified whenever I do upload other videos. And I always want you guys to let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Because, again, this video, these videos, and this channel is not for me. It's for you guys. I want you guys to get the best life, and I want you guys to um, be the best you can be in all aspects of your life. You know what I mean? Um, of course, if you found value, I appreciate uh, donations. Or if you just want to support me, I appreciate it. Thank you. And of course, always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man. Until next week, I'll see y'all then. Peace.